imagine if energy blockages or entities could be shoo away just with the smoke or incense, Palo Santo or sage. People will keep doing the same things again and again that brought those toxic energies so they can cleanse it. Yesterday a client sent me a text saying, why sage, incense, palo santo cannot remove toxic energies like energy blockages and entities? And then she says, it's because they are strong. She gave herself the answer. Toxic energies like energy blockages and entities are very strong forms of toxic energies that you cannot shoot them away with those things, not even with crystals, because they are strong. And I will give you an example. A tick, which is a parasite that can be attached to our scalp or any part in our body and start sucking our blood, which is our energy. Actually, well, let's say the blood, right? That's a parasite. Can you just blow it? Can you bring incense, palo santo, any smoke, or you start blowing the tick and the tick will go away? No, and you know it. However, what are the ways to get rid of the tick? You grab it with your nails or with a special tweezer and take it away with head and everything. So you have to do it very quickly. Another way is to bring a hot nail a thick nail, something a metal that is hot, maybe a knife, and put it close. So with the heat, the thick will go away. Those are strong measurements. With entities, energy blockages, it's the same. Besides, what people have to understand, like this client of mine, that if energy blockages or entities could be shoo away just with this smoke or, or incense, palo santo or sage, people will keep doing the same things again and again that brought those toxic energies so they can cleanse it. And God didn't meant to be life like that. Why? Because if we have an energy blockage, we have an entity, the body is telling us, hey, there is something here that is not right and you have to get rid of that. And more importantly, we have to get rid of the root cause that produced that. This is the reason that the, in this world, the things work that way. It's going to be very simple. What about sexual transmitted diseases? Can get rid with just alcohol or something like that, that you just put something very simple and you get rid of that. No, there is a serious reason for it, sexually transmitted diseases. So this is the same. An entity is a sexually transmitted energy blockage and needs a human being, a healer. You don't have to be a trained healer. You may have that capability. And the reason is that the healing energies that come straight from God, people call it source, universe, because they are afraid to call it God. I don't. So that healing energy is a direct manifestation of God. People who can see the energy, they see the light that the healer brings, or somebody who has a good connection, strong connection with spirit, with the source of this energy. And that light and the intention of the healers are the ones who will talk to that entity or put the hands, maybe we don't need to talk, but put the hands in the place where the entity is and that light that we bring cannot be tolerated by these toxic energies because they don't feel good and they leave. However, what we do is a little much deeper. We ask and we usher that entity to where they came from, through a portal that we create. Well, this is a little maybe over most people's heads, but that's more or less the way we do it. So we don't leave the entity lingering around so that toxic energy will attach to the next weak aura that he finds. And now comes the other important part. How do we have a strong connection with the energy, with the spirit, with God, so we can remove energy blockages safely? 
and entities. That's another video.